The LEGO Star Wars games, they're known for their iconic characters. Levels. Extras. But when you think LEGO Star Wars, what really stands out in your mind? That's right, the death noises. Oh! A child today could never understand why LEGO games work so much better with grunts and not these new voice lines taken right from the movie. In today's video, I'm upping content to a whole new level of legendary with the top 10 LEGO Star Wars death noises. Now there are so many characters to go through in LEGO Star Wars, so many iconic characters. And to narrow it down to 10, I won't even describe as difficult. It was excruciatingly heartbreaking to leave out some of the characters in today's video, but we've somehow narrowed it down to 10. Remember, my opinion is probably drastically different from your opinion, but just remember that it is only a video, and I won't say I was in tears to leave out some of the characters in today's video, but I was close. Some big ones missed out. Number 10. Four Lom. We all know him, I hope. One of the bounty hunters from episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, and he has a very unique death noise. The only character in the game with this death noise. Do you want to hear it? I'm guessing so. <laughs> Iconic. Straight away. Just one more time. <laughs> it honestly does sound like this modified protocol droid did just malfunction. They didn't really have much to go off with this one when creating the game. Forlom doesn't have a singular line in The Empire Strikes Back or in any form of Star Wars medium. We've never really seen a protocol droid like him that is a bounty hunter, so we can't refer him to anyone else. But I think they worked with what they had here, which admittedly wasn't much and gave him a pretty good death noise. Number 9, R2-D2 and R4-P17. The iconic Astromech death noise. If you don't know this one, then there is a problem. Let's play it right now. You hear it in the movies, and to hear it in the games is that bit better. When you're playing as R2-D2 and you accidentally fall off the edge, as we all do, let's be honest, there's nothing better sometimes than hearing the poor Astromech scream for help. But who is an Astromech's worst enemy? That's right, a Jawa at the number 8 spot. If I was to compare this death noise to one thing, well, it sounds like when your older brother or sister is chasing you around the house when you're so young and you just don't know where to run and they're catching up to you and then you let out this. Can you relate? Oh, who knows. But the Jawa death noise, inspirational, iconic, once again, you don't get many better than this, apart from the number 7 spot, which is the Gamorrean Guard, and am I getting, like, vibes of a Minecraft pig dying here? I know that's pretty random, but can we just put the two together? <coughs> Why do Gamorrean Guards sound like pigs? I really don't understand it. It's very interesting, it sounds like a mixture of crying and once again a pig being cut down. We're, getting, we're going pretty dark here, aren't we? But what makes their deaths even more tragic is their amazing dance moves. Just look at them. Number 6, Padme Amidala. Oh, this one's been a meme on the channel for as many years as I can remember. This goes back to when Nexu scars her back in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. I think the fact that they gave Padme a different death noise to the default female death noise goes to show her significance, and I gotta admit, it's a pretty cool sound. Just one more time, once again. Number 5, we are inside that territory now. This is where things step it up that bit further. And at the number 5 spot, we have everyone's favourite protocol droids, C-3PO and TC-14. Now, I'm really treating you here. Like I said, we're taking things up a notch because these two don't just have one death noise. Oh no, oh no, things are about to get better. Wait for it. They have two. Oh my. Darth Vader doesn't even get his own death noise, but don't worry because TC-14 gets two. 
I have no words. The developers on this game really knew what they were doing. They really catered for us TC14 fans out there and I cannot thank them enough for their service. Number four, everyone's favorite Mandalorian who's not actually a Mandalorian but wears Mandalorian armor. That's right, Boba, no, not Boba Fett, not Boba Fett, overrated. Django Fett, play the death noise. It's inspirational, that is definitely one way to put it. I always found it a bit unfortunate that when I was watching Attack of the Clones, when Mace Windu unfortunately beheaded Django Fett, the Django just didn't scream out this noise. It would have made the scene all that more just rememberable, heartbreaking, and in a lot of ways just epic. Instead of such a silent death for such an iconic character, why didn't he just scream this? <laughs> Okay, but I'm here to treat you again at the number 3 spot. That's right, you fought TC14 and C3PO. Were they only characters with two death noises? Oh no. Oh no. Jar Jar Binks. Two death noises. Spot number 3. Roll the death noises. I cannot even comprehend what I've just heard. You die as Jar Jar. You think the first one is brilliant? But oh, no, 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 no. TT Games treat you to another one. They really know what they're doing with these iconic characters. First of all, TC14, and now Jar Jar Binks. Two death noises, two incredible death noises. You know, in game, when you've died as Jar Jar, everybody knows because you can hear those death noises all over the map. Number two, oh, you gotta feel sorry for this guy. Imagine missing out on the number one spot on such a list where I don't think anybody could predict number one, to be honest. How would you be able to predict number one in 2020? I have no idea. But in all seriousness for a second, this one doesn't get enough attention. I never hear anyone talk about it. And by a mile, I knew straight away when making this video what the number one spot was gonna be and what the number two spot was gonna be. And this one, always, was going to be number two. IG-88. Now IG-88 has some incredible in-game noises, for starters. Just when you're running around as him, you hear the little... And you're already thinking, wow, this character is above and beyond anything else I've seen in the game. But then, then he dies. Can someone make a petition to get the IG-88 death noise? in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga because it deserves to be. Sorry, I can't get over this death noise. Play it again, full volume, get ready. Ear rape time. <laughs> now, number one. It took weeks, it took months, many sleepless nights. I had to change the script so many times. I had to get the number one spot right. Let's be honest, if I didn't include this one at number one, I probably would be uh, slaughtered in the comments section if I'm not going to be already after this list. I'm not even going to bother telling you. You know who it is. Play the death noise. <coughs> this thing is responsible for meme after meme after meme. There is actually a petition that even TT Games have spoken about for the new LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game. Pretty much we know the Yoda death noise is going to be in it. Everybody loves it. And while in my own head, yes, I probably prefer IG-88, this one had to be at number one. Or like I said, I'd probably be sounding like the Gamorrean guard when he dies anytime soon. But that is the iconic list. Was there a build up to number one? Was there a mystery? Did you not know who it's gonna be? I have no idea, but Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoy making it. I think death sounds are very iconic in LEGO Star Wars. Pretty much the main reason I even play these games. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I shall see you all next time with another epic countdown by the sounds of things. <laughs> <laughs>